Hey everyone, what's going on? Freddie Smith here. I want to bring you behind the scenes and show you our home podcast studio. We have a two bedroom apartment. One of the bedrooms behind me is fully transformed into a podcast studio. Now it's taken us about two years to get to this point. We started off just in our living room and as our podcast and our YouTube channel has, has been growing, we decided to invest back in ourselves and in our business and we have a really cool studio in here and I want to I want to show you the equipment that we use. So if you're looking to build a home podcast studio, you can kind of see the aesthetic that we went with. I love the whole color scheme we came up with. It's a brand that we're building as well as the microphones, uh, the cameras that we use, the lights and everything like that. Um, if you're a fan of our show and you're just curious what it looks like behind the scenes, then you'll enjoy this video as well. So without further ado, let's go see the podcast studio. So here we go, home podcast studio. And uh, it took us probably a couple months to put all this together. We went piece by piece. And the most important thing, obviously, is the audio and the video, but we wanted this aesthetic. If I looked up on different podcasts on YouTube, people who film their podcasts, and you want to kind of start with a brand of color so that the audience is used to kind of the same set. They get used to a color. A lot of our pictures and exports of our pictures and videos all have this color scheme. Um, we decided to go with like a green, black, and white. Uh, this way it was really great because it's me and my fiance and she fought me wanting a like a pink couch I just she has the rest of the apartment if you saw it. I this is my man cave I get 5% so I wanted it to be a little more uh, You know neutral if you will. Let's start with the microphones Before I start with the microphones Let me do a little cutaway of an episode for like 10 seconds so you can hear the audio and the video so you can see the quality so I feel we got on some like some inspirational stuff today. What a better segue <laughs> than to s seamlessly segue into the most inspirational thing that television could produce, <laughs> The Bachelor. The Bachelor, baby. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. So we just watched it last night. Uh, it never disappoints. It is so good. That sound was recorded on the Blue Yeti. Now there are many different microphones. I did a lot of research. I went with the Yeti based on cost because we wanted to keep it around $3,000 out the door. Um, and these are about a hundred bucks and they come in all different colors so you can choose what goes good with your, you know, your vibe. And we love the audio. As long as you have the settings correctly and you can play with it and you're not too close, not too far away, it's crisp. We've never had a complaint. It sounds amazing. So I really think you're going to like that. And you can also get the, uh, I guess you'd call it an arm to go with it. This way the guests can get comfortable and lean back. Um, and the package also will come with headphones, which are very important. So I always recommend now where I go, hey, you know, put on your headphones. Same thing with Alyssa and myself. This way we know if we're talking too soft or too loud. And while I'm here, if you just want to kind of pan over here as well, we have a little clamp that we bought and we put at the edge of our table. This way, look how nice. It just sets right here, keeps the cords off of the table. We wanted more of a sleek look. We didn't want cords hanging everywhere. The thing I do want to mention though, this is a USB microphone. So we run this through GarageBand. Now, if you have just one computer and you're doing one-off videos, you won't have to worry about this next part. What you need is an aggregate device. And the aggregate device, as you can see right here, has um, four different ports that you can all plug it in. And we have it underneath the table here and we have it running along so that we can hide all the cords. But this aggregate will hold all four USB ports. You plug it into the computer, and once you log into um, to GarageBand, uh, you'll be able to access all the microphones. But side note, you're going to want to research how to work an aggregate device. It's not just plug it in, plug it in, and it works. You need to set up the aggregate device on your actual computer. So I don't want to go into the detail because it's the behind the scenes, but research that on your own if you want to go the USB route. It'll take you a couple hours and then you'll be done. Then I have one program saved. I open it, I record, I export. It is easy peasy, and that's what you're going to want. Let's hop over to the uh, audio foam panels. Uh, these right here are they just look cool. They also come in different colors. It does help with sound. It can help with echo. Uh, we don't have them everywhere, so we still hear every now and then if there's a lawnmower or a dump truck, you're going to hear that during your podcast. Um, but if the door is shut, it really has a real calm, good energy in here. So these really do help. I recommend using T-pins. T-pins. 
Uh, we use the two-sided tape. I tried different stuff. They fall down. Um, use the T-pens. They work like a charm. And I really just like the aesthetic. At first, we had a painting in here where it was going to be a spare bedroom that the, the podcast studio was in. And there was one thing missing. And we were looking around. We're like, what is it? And it was that it was a picture of just a regular thing. So I was like, let's put these audio foam panels up because it's going to help with sound and it's going to look more like a studio so that it doesn't look just like a spare bedroom. So I really like that. You know, we, we have a bar. I don't know if you want to put a bar in your studio or you can put a refrigerator or you can put nothing or a bike. I don't know, whatever you'd like. But we like to have a bar there just in case anyone wants to have a drink. Um, or, but usually it's coffee and water. But every now and then we'll do a little whiskey or we'll do a little rosé. We've got not only the famous Benjamin, but we have this great couch that we ordered online. It's actually a very expensive couch, but we got it at a huge discount. And this type of couch, the way it's set up for some reason has a, uh, a podcast vibe to it. The curtains here are amazing because basically if you, um, this is where I'd be sitting. So you can imagine right now how beautiful the background is or what you saw. Uh, we love having the green curtains behind it. But I want to share real quick, I would highly recommend doing this. I have an iPad um, just on our guests as a backup because we don't have a producer. We don't have anyone else helping us. So as soon as I hit record on the cameras, on everything, I know that these cameras are going to work 99.9999999999% of the time. But in that one case where someone drives 30 minutes, sits here for an hour, has a great conversation, is plugging their book or their show or their play, and if it didn't capture it, I would feel so embarrassed and I wouldn't know what to do. So it's an iPad mini. That quality is not the best. It's never happened, but I always feel I can relax and enjoy my conversation more knowing there's a backup on at least the guest. These lights up here are just like really cheap uh, photography lighting I got from Amazon. The brand that I have here, uh, for some reason, they're not on Amazon anymore, but I think there's one called Mudhound that we also have as a backup, and those ones are great too. Uh, so I would just look around Amazon. I'll put the Mudhound ones down there for you because I know we have one of those. And we just turn these on with our overlight and uh, our overhead light, and it works great. It's not too blown out. It just works really, really well. The main attraction is going to be the Sony camcorder. And it's an FDR AX53. And I, the, I actually did find this on Amazon. They run about 850. The reason I didn't get this partic particularly from Amazon is I went to an actual camera shop because Alyssa and I were having issues. If you have a DSLR or a mirrorless camera, there is an overheating problem. And after 30 minutes, it will overheat and shut down, sometimes 19 minutes. And there is a way that you can override the firmware um, and bypass that, which I did. It lasts an extra five minutes. It gets so hot and it just won't work and I'd be a nervous wreck. So I went into the store. We, we even thought about GoPros and the gentleman was, was super kind and said, this is what you want to get. It's a camcorder. I have a 128 gigabyte chip that records up to four hours. If you plug the camcorder into the wall with the battery so it doesn't die, that will also last hours. And we have filmed an hour and a half, like easy. And it's always recording and it's been wonderful. So have it plugged in. Another thing I'd recommend is to go, if you're, especially if you only have two cameras and you don't have a producer or a videographer, I would highly recommend getting a 4K camera. This one in particular, because it's awesome. But 4K allows us to record in 4K but if we do a two shot, because it's close enough in post-production, I can actually zoom in and still keep it at 1080p. So it's high def when we upload it to YouTube. So it's almost as if you have four cameras or sometimes yet again, because there's no one helping. Once Alyssa and I set our shots, there's times that the chair will move back or I'll lean up or something will happen and the frame will be off. And I'm able, because it's shot in 4K, to in post-production fix the frame without losing that 1080p. Uh, Slick U9000 is the tripod that we use. Um, perfect height for sitting down and doing this job. We can use it for other one-off videos that we do. Uh, the TV stand, uh, we just didn't want to basically drill this flat screen into the wall. Um, and this way we wouldn't be able to move or adjust it. So this is on rollers. This way we can move it if we ever want it in the background or anything like that. But this is, this is basically it. This is our little 150 square foot podcast studio slash bed for Benji. Um, and this is where we hang out and do just so much of our work and we have fun. As we were doing this in the living room, 
the biggest pain in the butt was being inspired, having to get all this equipment out and then having to set it up and then having to film and then break it down was a pain. So we were so, so happy after hard work for 18 months um, to be able to have a studio. We turn the lights on, turn the cameras on and go. And it is beautiful. This is all the equipment. If you like it, we have everything linked. You can do your research and check it out and get it for yourself. Also, if you want to know what we do in post-production, once that video is filmed, it'll be in the description below so you can see what we do, how I edit, and there's a bunch of steps. It's very time consuming. So let me plug it or end it with this. If you have not started your podcast yet, I wouldn't recommend spending two to five thousand dollars on a podcast studio. I would recommend just getting out your cell phone, putting up about 20 episodes to get into the rhythm to see if you really want to go on this venture, spend 3000 build this whole thing. We felt it was time just because of where we were. But from the moment a guest arrives or we do it, by the time we film it, edit it, and post it, it is an eight-hour job for an hour podcast. So just keep that in mind. Um, it's definitely worth it if it's something you love, but don't think you need a studio in order to create an amazing podcast. Um, and this is going to be our point three. We may even eventually have a studio bigger in the future, but right now we're just enjoying it. We're able to bring great stories and great people and great thoughts and ideas and positivity to the world all right here in our second bedroom. So I hope you enjoyed the tour. If you have any questions, comment below, let us know. Um, if you haven't subscribed, please do so. Check out a few of our episodes. Uh, we have many guests, many cool topics, and uh, appreciate you spending this time with us. 